Hey NormConf, my name is Joe Lucas and we're going to be talking about IPython profiles. IPython is this great interactive REPL and profiles are a way to customize your experience, prevent mistakes and standardize team environments by doing things like connecting to remote resources or loading uh, environment variables. You can also connect these to Jupyter kernels. So uh, almost everything we talk about can also apply to things you're doing in Jupyter Notebooks or Jupyter Lab. So let's launch one here. Norm, string there, that doesn't look standard. Norm, there he is. Okay, and we launched a, a browser instance before dropping into our interactive environment here. So let's dive into the config and figure out how that happened. By default, the configs are under your home directory and a .ipython directory. Each config gets its own uh, subdirectory here. So we're looking at norm, but if you've never done this before, you have a default, and then there's a Python file. So you can run code many different ways. Here you could just provide a specific command, and so this is useful for uh, handling all those standard imports. You can have a file referenced by the Python startup environment variable. You could just provide a list of files uh, or specific lines you want to execute, or you could provide uh, target files in the command line. So here, foo.py would be executed before dropping you into your interactive environment. But even in those four or five ways, we didn't see the browser opening or that string norm printing. Uh, and it turns out that browser came from somewhere else. So if we look in our profiles directory, we see startup. And this, the readme here explains what happened. So uh, in this directory .py and .ipy files are run in a specific lexicographical order um, and they're actually run before the things that we call in that config and so by defining a file here uh, we were able to to get the browser to open now that's like a really trivial example of of code being run but you could think of that as connecting to uh, connecting to and defining remote uh, instances of you know databases buckets things like that or uh, importing environment variables you might need later on and it provides this nice ab uh, abstraction so that the code you might be checking into version control kind of isn't polluted with all, all that other stuff we also see later in the config where that banner default banner is defined and you can specify a, a subsequent uh, banner and here that that's where that norm string came from and then you can really customize your experience. So some of my favorite options here are to drop into a debugger on, on exceptions, uh, which is a nice way to, like really powerful way to, to track down why the exception occurred. You can also auto match your brackets and quotes, and then configure uh, the history. So IPython history is powered by the SQLite database. And so if you've done things like save a password variable uh, in plain text, for instance, that's in this, this SQLite database here. And by default, they're in each profile's directory. Each profile kind of has its own history. But you can control that behavior in the config here. So if you wanted to share history between instances or save history to a remote database, this is where you would do that. And I think it could be really powerful or a great uh, developer experience if teams had kind of a prehistory for new team members where we you gave them a database instance, they just imported it into their profile, and it kind of had all of the commands that the team might run on a regular basis to, to auto-complete for the new employee. There's also uh, backslash completion, which I think is, is really great for math formulas and doc strings. Um, and, and we're out of time, but there's a ton here. IPython profile, the, the configs are basically self-documenting, but you can also do it at runtime. And it's worth doing some research to see if this can really improve your experience. Thanks and enjoy the rest of the con.